Crux was founded in 1998 by a group of individuals working within the drilling industry in a variety of different markets. We saw an opportunity in geotechnical engineering for difficult access or difficult logistics core drilling. And naturally, there was an evolution then as we built relationships with those customers to work with them in developing the solutions for the construction of those projects as well. I think Crux over the years with its culture of innovation has just continued to adapt to issues that have come up in all sorts of different construction environments, whether it be in the tunneling industry or whether it be in transmission industry, geotechnical exploration. We've looked for issues in those industries and look for ways to solve those issues. We look at finding the best options to get into sites and provide them the most cost-effective, safe, and appropriate means to acquire the data they need or construct what they need to have. It could be a combination of conventional marine access or even difficult access, utilizing helicopters or crane support to get into more challenging or remote locations. One of the big benefits of Crux is we engineer and design equipment in-house. So we have a full fabrication facility that can support developing equipment to meet a specific project's needs. You know, there are probably a thousand contractors that can do what we do if the access is right and the drilling is good. But our specialty is being able to take equipment that we fabricate or that we modify in-house and adapt it to special environments where most people won't go. So whether it's unimproved roads, whether it's helicopter access, the face of a dam, side of a cliff, whatever it might be, we kind of take it to that level. Difficult logistics create situations where you're inventing or designing something that may not have been done before, uh, may not have been thought of before. One way or another, we find a solution to the issues that we're dealing with. And it's, it's very gratifying as a design engineer to, to work with a group of people that have that level of confidence in what they do and, and their trade. Crux Engineering in-house coordinates uh, a lot of different disciplines um, from external sources, whether it's structural engineering, geotechnical engineering, uh, rock engineering, uh, marine engineering, and we take that data and form it into our design packages. Today, a significant component of our total revenue is generated by Micropile Foundation Design and Construction. Micropiles were invented in the 1950s in Italy. They were brought to the United States in the 1970s for both remediation of failing structures and then shortly thereafter began being used for new construction. Crux used micropiles for underpinning of projects and other more standard applications uh, as back as far as our history goes. Micropile foundation construction can be completed with lighter weight material and lighter weight equipment in environmentally sensitive areas without any road building or major site preparations. We can literally fly all the materials, all the equipment, and all the personnel to sites, leaving very little impact behind. In 2004, Crux was really the first contractor to implement the use of micropile foundation systems within the transmission line industry. We were asked to come up and do a geotech exploration job up in southeast Alaska for a transmission line that was about 57 miles long. And at the end of that project, the owner admitted that they frankly didn't know how they were going to construct this because a lot of it went through the Tongass National Forest. They would not be allowed to build roads. They understood our competencies in handling logistics associated with drilling in those difficult environments and asked us to participate in coming up with a solution for the construction of that transmission line. Applying the use of micropiles because they're, they're small elements and the drills that could install them could be lightweight drills and coupling that with the remote access capability of helicopter portable rigs was just a really good marriage for the client up there on that project. That was the first time we employed micropiles as a foundation system for transmission and we built the first all helicopter supported micropile alignment and again keeping in the theory of innovation and uh, get it done attitude we saw a problem, didn't quite know how we were going to solve it, and worked with the owner and the contractor to find a solution, and that's what really launched us into the transmission market. There's always a solution. It may not always look exactly the same when we go to do it than what the owner might have contemplated initially, but we always have a way to collect good data or to build a good foundation system. I think this organization's ability to not settle for what the current solution is, but to always look for what could improve safety, what could improve schedule or cost on a project, and understand that that solution may not have ever been thought of or analyzed before, but being willing as a group from project management 
to uh, material acquisition to engineering, everybody jump into that together and find a solution is one of the very unique things about this group and I think it is what sets us apart in the industry.